faceless youtube channels are gaining thousands of views and not getting monetized with less than five videos by using ai characters like this this and this so in this video i'll show you how easy it is to actually create these characters so you could use them in your videos to get monetized faster so i'll be showing you how to create these ai characters in two different ways the first type and then the second type so in order to create these characters we're going to be using canva you can find a link for canva in the description below and then once on canva what you want to do on this home page is do a search for a youtube video and then hit enter once you've done that you're going to see this pop up and then you're going to click create a blank youtube video now once on this page you see here where it says apps you want to click onto this and then you want to do a search for magic media and then you want to click this one it used to be called text to image but canva changed it to magic media so in case you've been searching for it this is where it is now this is where it wants to ask canva to generate you the image of the ai character that you want so what i'm going to ask it for is this guy facing front and center from behind a desk with a mask covering mouth and nose wearing a hoodie you want to go ahead to ask some variation of this you don't need to ask this exactly but this is what works well then the next thing you need to do is choose the style that you want your character to be generated in i know it only looks like there's five styles but there's more if you click see all as you can see there are way more to choose from but the one i prefer to use is dreamy now after that's selected the last thing you need to do is click the aspect ratio just be sure to select a landscape so they come out looking right once you have that done all you need to do is click generate image and then once you've done that as you could see canva has gone ahead to giving me four different options that i could use now if you don't like any of these options don't you worry it's not the end of the world and i won't judge you you could simply hit generate again and canva will begin generating you more options but if you do like one of them but they're not quite where you'd like it to be what you'd want to do from here is click onto the three dots and then click where it says generate more like this after you've done this you can keep generating more and more like the ones you like until you find the perfect one for you but in my case i'm just going to go ahead to click this one once you've clicked onto it as you can see canva has now added it onto my scene but there is a bit of a problem where's the rest of it <laughs> this is not enough to be great for a youtube video how are we gonna go about fixing this i'm just playing it's actually really easy to fix this what you want to do is generate more background first things first you need to adjust the size of this so that you can extend the background onto it so for me something like this is quite right i just need a little extra for it to feel perfect once you've done that what you want to do now is ensure you have your image selected you're then going to click where it says edit photo and then you're going to click magic expand who would have known canva had this feature and then you're going to go ahead to click where it says whole page because you do want it to adjust to the whole page and then click magic expand and now as you can see canva has gone ahead to expand the background for us and it looks so good and to make things better it gave you four different options that you could use so you could choose the best one that you like don't worry if there's nothing you like you could simply hit generate new results and then it will generate you some more but i'm going to keep this one because it looks really well once you have that done you simply need to click out of it now from here what i do recommend you do is make this more of your own by that what i mean is come to where it says elements and then search for a bunch of different elements that you could add into this scene so that it would make it more unique you don't need to do this so you could skip this step if you want but i do recommend you do it now once you've added in some extra items and made this image your own the next thing you need to do from here is get him to talk there is no exact way to do this in canva and in actual actuality the people who make these characters talk they do it in a bit of a complicated way but you know i don't want you guys to get stressed out trying to figure out how to do this so i stress myself out figuring it out for you guys so in order to do this it's pretty easy what you'd want to first do is download this so you'd go to where it says share and then you'd click download and then you want to ensure that you're downloading this as a png and then hit download and then once you've downloaded it you want to come on over to this site called remove pg and then you're going to upload the image that we just downloaded from canva now once it has been added in as you can see remove pg does a great job at removing the background but that's not all you want it to remove in fact you want it to remove everything but the mask don't worry it's easy to do what you want to do is click where it says erase and restore ensure that you have magic brush toggled on and then you want to adjust the sizing of your brush once you've done that you want to go ahead and remove everything but the mask and don't worry if it's not 
not perfect because as you could see remove background does a great job at removing it perfectly but once you've done that you're done with this all you need to do now is hit done and hit download and then you want to head back on over to canva now once on canva you want to go over here where it says upload and then upload the picture of the mask that we just downloaded from remove background and now once the mask has been added in from here it's very easy to make him talk believe me i did not make this complicated for you guys all you want to do is just follow these exact steps the first thing you need to do is adjust the sizing of the mask so that it fits exactly onto your image once you have this perfectly adjusted the next thing you need to do is duplicate this first scene so click onto these three dots and click duplicate page so now you have two pages that are identical after you've done that what you want to do is ensuring that you have the second one selected you want to click onto it and then you simply want to adjust the sides of the mask to make it just a tad bit bigger than it originally is just like this doesn't seem like we did a lot but we did a lot are you ready to see what it looks like just like that it looks like he's talking his mask is moving he's talking it was an easy way to do this you're welcome but i'm sure you're thinking okay money thank you but am i supposed to be toggling my mouse while trying to record a video no you don't have to be doing that instead i'm sure you want him to talk on his own so in order to get that done what you want to do is click onto the first one and then at the top here you're going to see this eight second timer you want to click onto edit timing and then just bring it all the way down to point one one second and then hit apply to all pages so that it does it to both of the pages now you still only have two you would need more than two to actually be able to just place it into your videos so what you'd want to do is click onto the first one and onto the second one do this by holding on shift on your spacebar and then you want to go ahead to duplicate two pages and now you see you have two more but you don't want to keep having to click onto it and click duplicate so all you want to do is click copy and paste and now you have two more from here you just want to keep hitting paste and as you can see it's pasting and pasting more images but if you look at the top hair the seconds are getting longer which means our video is getting longer so you want to keep doing that until it gets to a length that you're comfortable with that'll be easy for you to just add into sections of your videos so i recommend something like 20 seconds and here we are but once you've done that great job your character is literally done and trying to play head is at the start all i need to do now is hit play look at that <laughs> it looks like he's talking if you put a voice over this it looks just like he's talking like how the others do i know you're probably sitting here thinking wait what it's that easy it can't be that easy it is that easy because i made it that easy for you and just like that this first method to create the character is done so from here all you'd want to do is download it so in order to download it you would click onto where it says share and then you click download and then you're going to ensure that you have mp4 selected hit download and now your character will be downloaded and now you can insert it into any places of your video as you would like now the second type of character you commonly see with these faceless channels is this one in order to create it it's also very easy it's actually even easier than the first one what you'd want to do is come on back over to canva and then you want to click where it says create blank youtube video once again and then from here what you would need is the body of the character this is what you typically see in those videos you can go about doing this in two different ways and i'll show you both ways so the first way is by coming on over to elements and then where it says search element you want to simply search for the type of body positioning that you want your character to be doing so for example i'll go ahead to search for something like this man in suit pointing hit enter and then from here what you want to do is click on to where it says photos and then you want to find one that you would like to use in your video so for example this one this one is actually quite perfect so from here what you now need to do is simply remove the background in order to do this you want to click where it says edit photo and then background remover and now as you can see canva has gone ahead to remove the background for us all that's left for you to do is now adjust your man well the man so you could add him into your video hold on you're not done you can't just keep his face we don't even know who that is instead we need to add in a logo that could be the logo of your channel or maybe just some character's face that you want to add on him to show in your videos you need to cover his face with that face or that logo in order to do this you want to come back over to the elements home page you want to scroll down till you see this thing called frames and then you want to select the circle frame this is what you'll simply want to place over his head and adjust it accordingly so that his head is completely covered now that you have this covered you want to make this a group so that when you move him it also moves in order to make it a group you want to highlight everything click group and now it'll all move as one from here 
you want to go to where it says uploads and then you want to upload your logo or image that you'd want to use on your character so as you can see i have my channel logo over here all i would do is drag it over the frame and now as you can see it's added in now don't worry if it's a bit too small and you want to readjust it you could do so all you'd want to do is click onto the circle the frame click edit photo crop and now you can go ahead to extend the sides of it till you get it into a position that you think looks best for your video so for me i'm going to just make it as big as my head and hit that that was the first way to do this but what happens if you want your character to do a specific position that you can't find in the element section you don't need to worry about that because i'll show you exactly what you're going to do the second way you could go about generating the body of your character is by having ai generate it in order to do this you want to come on over to apps and then you're going to search for magic media once again which is canvas text to image click onto this one and over here you want to search for the position that you want your character to be doing so what i'm going to search for is something absurd like this man in suit with hand in a fist ready to fight from here the style that you want to use is photo but the aspect ratio you want to use is portrait and then hit generate image and now as you can see canva has gone ahead to generate us some interesting results we all know ai is not quite good with hands but it did a pretty decent job so from here you choose the one that you'd want so for example this one now once you have it in your scene you'd first want to adjust the sizing of it so that it's not too big or too small and then from here it's following the same process with the first one you ensure you have your image selected you click edit photo and then you remove the background and then once the background is removed you go to elements you locate the circle frame and then you cover his head with it and then once the head is covered you go on over to elements and locate your logo or picture that you'd want to use and then you would add that onto the frame you'd click onto it edit photo crop and then you'd go ahead to adjust the sizing once again to be a size that you're comfortable with click done and now you have your second character done be sure to group it so that you could move it as one and now just like that you're done once again you have the two different characters that you could use in your videos and then you could keep generating variations upon variations of these for every aspect of your faceless channel for every emotion that you're trying to depict i love this method because it gives you a lot to play with so from here, you'd need to download your characters so that you could actually use them in the videos that you edit on your desired platform. So all you'd want to do is firstly separate them by duplicating the page and then deleting one from the first page. That way you have two separate ones and then position them in a way that you know that you'll be able to use it in variation. So for example, like this, and then now you can download it. So you'd want to click where it says share. You'd want to click download and show that you have png selected and then transparent background do not forget transparent background because you don't want this background there of course and then click download but i do want to add in a bit of a bonus for some of you that are wondering okay monique but like how exactly do i go about using this let's just say you were editing something in canva a faceless video about space you'd firstly have the video of space you'd have your faceless video of space in the background so let's just in canva find a space video really quickly now let's say i found this i'm going to just add it into my scene i'm going to adjust the sizing of it and then i'm going to go ahead and send it to the back by right clicking clicking layer and then click send to back now my character is in front of my video as you can see and now let's just say I ha i've added in my voiceover and it said something like welcome to outer space where we learn about outer space things <laughs> you would obviously have a better script than this but You'd want your character to move around so it seems like there's more actually happening. And now to make it more precise, I'm going to go ahead and use the images that we downloaded earlier from Canva so you could see what I mean. So I'll go ahead to delete this. As you can see, it's right here in uploads. I'm going to click upload and now it's added into our scenery with no background. From here, I would now go ahead to adjust the sizing of it so that it is perfect in my video to the way that I would like. And now I would need to make it move to make it more alive. In order to animate it, I'd ensure I have it selected. Then I'll click animate, click create animation. And now I could just go ahead to move it around and move it around and just make it however I want. You want to be more intentional with your movements. This was a little bit crazy. And then from here, I'll play the settings a little bit, change the movement styles to steady, and then add a slight wiggle, low intensity, so that it's give it some extra movement. And now, again, pretending that I had a voiceover into this, it would look something like this. 
Hey guys, welcome to Space, where I teach you about space-related things on space-related days while exploring space. Simple as that. You would do this exact same process in whichever platform you're using. And now in regards to this video, I'm sure you're wondering, okay, Monique, but how do I use this one? Today's your lucky day because I've made a full and complete video of showing you how you can create faceless videos using this faceless AI character for completely free. I've revealed the entire secret. So be sure to check out that video over here. If you want, I'll also link it in the description so you could learn this aspect as well. And there you go. After this video, I'm 100% guaranteed that you can create these characters. And please listen to me when I say this. Something as simple as this really elevates your content and can gather you more views to get monetized faster. So just ensure that the actual content itself is unique and interesting for at least the target audience that you are intending to make these videos for. So now you can 100% create these characters for your channel, for anybody else's channel, whatever you decide to create them for. And if you want to learn more from me, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.